Hey, and welcome back to my channel of plant-based and vegan food inspiration. This whole channel, if you are new, is all about sharing recipes that are both plant-based and vegan, and it just encourages you to live a healthier lifestyle, whether that's through eating or fitness, or just little tidbits through the different video vlogs. So, stay tuned, because today we are going to be doing a what I eat in a day to include what my four children, all five and under, will be eating. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Let's go. This vanilla and blueberry oatmeal, protein oatmeal has become a staple in our house. Everyone absolutely loves it and we actually serve it cold. So the protein powder that I'm adding is actually by Shakeology. I love this one because of all of the added superfoods. So this has bilberry, maca root, um, maitake mushrooms, pomegranate, quinoa, moringa leaf. So there's tons of different added superfoods there and the protein blend is not just like a pea isolate it has chia pea um, um sacha inchi flax quinoa rice oats so it's got so much good stuff in it i'm typically not the biggest fan of protein supplements like this but i really feel like this is more of like a superfood supplement so anyway the next thing i like to add is ground flaxseed and to make these ground flaxseed i simply just take um actual whole flax seeds and i just put them in a coffee grinder and grind them up pulse it a few seconds don't over pulse it because it can actually start turning into like a butter um, and it'll release all those oils within the seed but anyway i just will do this and then i'll just put it in a glass mason jar and i keep it in the freezer so that it lasts longer and then i add this to salads to smoothies to oatmeal whatever so the next thing i like to add is hemp seeds just to get again more protein and extra fiber a little bit of cinnamon this is good for inflammation and lowering your blood sugar level so the next thing i'm going to do is just load it up with some blueberries which are rich in antioxidants and some more fiber as well and then we're just going to top this off with whatever your favorite um, nut milk is i used almond milk today you actually it's not actually necessary to sometimes i actually use water because my protein powder actually has stevia as a sweetener so i don't really feel like there's a lack of flavor plus you actually can use oats to make oat milk so if you just let this sit for a little bit it gets creamy anyway so it's not necessary to use milk i just out of habit anyway this is a great breakfast because it is going to give you the energy that you need through the day um, by giving you those slow release carbs that is the oatmeal and you're gonna also get protein tons of protein here because of the oats as well as the added um, protein powder and that's going to give you that sustainable um, satiation. So you're going to feel full for a long time, as well as because of the fats from the hemp and the fats from the flax. So yeah, this is a great day way to start your day. And um, we just served this up with some more frozen blueberries, as well as some frozen cherries. And that was our breakfast. If you're a mom of small children i highly recommend researching baby led weaning this is something that i did with the twins and i don't really want to get into all the details of that here but i definitely encourage you to research that it is very frustrating sometimes letting your kids eat on their own but it's really good for them it helps them to really understand um when they're full um it also will help with their coordination and if you have a child that's going to be more of a picky eater this really will help them sometimes out my um one of the twins rosie she will literally push a spoon away and not want to eat anything but if i just set everything up in front of her it becomes like this fun game for her and she will eat everything so i highly encourage you to just let your kids enjoy and explore eating one two three four and four yum mm. Okay. I fall. Let's see what. Mm -hmm. It's just that I ate too already. Was that a good breakfast? <coughs> Look at you. Look. Look at you. Look how dirty you are. Look at you. <laughs> Let's get you cleaned off.
before we got started on lunch, I went ahead and took the kids for a one mile walk just to get some fresh air and really just to get them ready to eat and get an appetite going. So when, you're, when your children are hungry and not just eating based on what time it is, they're actually ready to eat, they're a lot less likely to be picky. Our bodies are designed to tell us when we're hungry and to tell us when we're full. And if we eat more intuitively like this and just listen to our bodies, then you're a lot less likely to overeat. The clock should not tell us it's time to eat. Now I understand um, work can cause different restrictions from that, but with kids and me having a flexible schedule, I try to just go by when they're hungry and this walk was designed to make them hungry. For lunch, we really just had pretty much like appetizer platters and this was actually per my oldest, Lila, this was her request. I said, what do you want for lunch? She said, can we just have snacks for lunch? I was like, great, sounds good. So um, to get started, I just made a quick hummus. I only used one jar of hummus, so it's not going to get as smooth as I normally would like it to get. Um, but I, when I was making large batches of hummus, I noticed it was getting wasted. So all I did was added a can of chickpeas. I threw in a red bell pepper, a little bit of garlic powder, some lemon juice, a little bit of salt, and then I reserved some of the, of the liquid from the can of chickpeas. And then I just added that just to thin it out. And that made a really quick and delicious hummus that the kids actually all enjoy. Well, Emmy did not enjoy it. Everybody else did. <laughs> but anyway, so we had hummus and we had carrots to dip in the hummus. I did slice up a banana and I put some peanut butter as well as some chia seeds on that or black sprinkles. That was actually a trick my friend Brittany told me about. And we had cherries and blackberries and raspberries and the twins actually ate a few of the chickpeas um, that I took out before I blended the hummus. And that was our lunch. What is it? Did you drop one? I just swallowed <laughs> Here you go. You okay? meal for the day was this hearty soup and the inspiration for this was just this bag of Bob's Red Mill veggie soup mix that I had. So I went ahead and sauteed up some mushrooms and onions and caramelized them really good for that depth of flavor. Um, and I mince these mushrooms up really fine because my kids do not like mushrooms and so this is how I hide them in my meal. So anyway, once I had the onions and mushrooms nice and caramelized, I just added in some garlic until it was fragrant and then I added in the soup mix. And this soup mix actually has green split peas, yellow split peas, barley, lentils, and vegetable pasta. So then at that point, all I did was covered it in water, added a can of tomatoes, and added in my seasoning. The seasoning blend that I used was just the McCormick Montreal chicken. I do like the Montreal steak as well. At this point, I just set a 30 minute timer because I am actually cooking beans from a raw state. I did not soak them or anything. So they take a little while and I didn't want to add my veggies early on because I don't want them to get all soft and mushy. 
Once that was up, I added in my carrots, cabbage, and potatoes, and I also added in a little bit more seasoning, topped it with water, then set a 20 minute timer, and at that point, it was finished. Also at the end, I did add a can of sweet peas with the juice just to add a little bit of sweetness and to balance out the salty and the acid from the tomatoes. This made a delicious meal that I served up with some um, freshly baked croutons. This was just olive oil, a little bit of seasoned salt, and I baked them for about 20 minutes at 350. And yeah, this was a great dinner. The broth kind of soaks up, or the croutons soak up a little bit of the broth and get a little soft, a little crunchy. The kids actually all really enjoyed it. We were super satisfied and well nourished and thoroughly enjoyed this meal. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Thumbs up! <laughs> yeah, thumbs up Thank you for staying tuned all the way till the end. I post videos every Wednesday, so be sure to subscribe. It's free to subscribe. Hit the bell, that way you'll be notified when I post another video. And help me out with this, guys. If you are liking the content, make sure you're subscribing because I am really trying hard to meet my 1,000 subscriber mark. Um, that way I can grow my channel even more. So with your you guys' help, I'll be able to keep putting out good content that hopefully you're enjoying. If you have any recommendations on content you'd like to see, make sure you drop that in the comments below as well. And I'll see you guys next Wednesday.